Good morning. Happy day before Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, we have especially a lot to be thankful for this year. Not that we're not thankful for everything we already have every year. Um, but, yeah. Uh, somehow I'm watching Little Mermaid by myself. I put it on for Lucy, and she wants to go watch her brother play Angry Birds in the bedroom. So, I knew once... David installed Angry Birds on the PlayStation in the bedroom that I would never see Lex in the living room ever again. But that's okay because I'm taking care Thanks. of all of my... Yeah. Sorry about that. Got distracted. So that's wonderful news. Keith came in to tell me that um, Savior had been offered a position at um, the casino he had an interview with last week. Um, so that's really great because they said his background check could take a couple of weeks and he turned it in on Friday. Here it is Wednesday. They already got all the information back. So that's amazing. So I'm very happy for him. That's got to be so exciting. Um, so congratulations, Savior. And um, right now I've just been doing a checklist of everything I need to do. Um, I have to fold some clothes. I have to straighten up the living room. I got to clean the kitchen. I went ahead and I pulled out all of the uh, baking dishes that I need to use tomorrow. Uh, I got to go to Honey Baked Ham and pick up the two turkey breasts that I reserved. I have to go to the grocery store, get the ingredients that I need to make um, cupcakes because my mom sent me these little candies. So I'm making um, yellow cake with chocolate frosting cupcakes. <laughs> Um, or I guess yellow cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Uh, and then I have little candies to decorate them to make them look like little turkeys. Um, and then I'm making a ha apple crisp to bring with me over to my aunt's house. So we're, um, David's working tomorrow. He's going in like super duper early. Um, and he's, so he's going to, you know, put in his time there. He's going to be home. I'm hoping to have it time so that everything is ready for him to, for him when he gets home so that we can just like eat um and uh, around noon tomorrow my brother and sister-in-law are stopping by and we'll see him again later on at my aunt's house um so that's what we have planned for tomorrow so i'm going to get my kitchen ready to go everything lined up you know even pull out the the dry non-refrigerated ingredients and have them all lined up have my recipes ready to go um, and then I'm going to sit down and figure out a timeline on how I can cook everything. And I'm probably, last year I started a lot later than I had planned on. I think I started cooking at like 10, 11, maybe even noon. We didn't eat until 5. So I think I'm going to start cooking at 8. And if anything, I can just keep everything warm in the oven um, if it's ready a little too early. That's what's going on right now. So I'm just trying to figure it out. You know, it's the day before Thanksgiving. What can you do? And I'm learning as I go because, like I said, last year was the first year I ever did it on my own. Um, it was my first Thanksgiving away from home. So now I'm just figuring out everything. I'm trying to find. I could have sworn I had a confirmation email from Honey Baked Ham, and now I'm worried. <laughs> ah, now I'm worried. I guess I could call them and find out if they still have it. So weird. So I will be doing that and making sure find a store. So I got to give them a call. We'll see. But that's the day before Thanksgiving. So I got to throw the kids in. I got to take a shower, get dressed, throw the kids in the car. We got to go to Bellevue, pick up the honey baked ham, drive back to the grocery store, pick up all the stuff we need, come home, and then I'm going to baking and my mom gave me an excellent idea for how I can put off making the apple crisp until tomorrow. So she said just to prepare <coughs> prepare everything, stop short of baking it. So take like the the topping and put it in a Ziploc bag and then throw it in the fridge. And I can take it out and by the time I get to my aunt's house it should be warm enough that I can, you know, come back up to like room temperature so that I can just throw it in my aunt's oven, bake it, and then serve it. So, I am going to call them now and make sure that they have my uh, turkey ready to go. So exciting. So, turkey day! Yay! Happy Thanksgiving! Gobble, gobble! And let's go! And... 
Do you see this face? This is a face of a very annoyed person. I just got back from Honey Baked Ham. Online, it tells you you have the option for ordering a roasted or, a, you know, smoked turkey breast. It says turkey breast. Feeds 8 to 10 people, $8.99. That's it. I go to the store to pick up my turkey breast. I, and I ordered two because Keith was like, well, you know what? We can have lots of leftovers. You know, just go ahead and get two turkey breasts if it's only $9. And so she tells me the total. And I'm, you know, and it was really loud in there. So I heard is six ninety eight or something like that. So I was like, oh, she must have said like twenty six ninety eight. And I'm like, I always overestimate for tax and stuff. So then she hands me the credit card receipt. Fifty six dollars. And I look at her and I was like, whoa, fifty six dollars. I was like, for what? I was like, aren't the turkey breasts only eight ninety nine? She says, no. $8.99 a pound. And I'm like, that is not what your website says. Your website says $8.99 flat. And, uh, and I said, can I get one back? And she said, well, I'd have to have somebody void the transaction. I'm like, well, great. You know, there's like people that are waiting and stuff. They only have like two cashiers. So I'm like, never mind. We'll eat it and stuff. And I said, but I'll contact the store later on. So I'm going to probably send them an email. I'm going to take a screenshot of their website because it doesn't say $8.99 slash LB, period. It just says $8.99. So if you're reading it, you're thinking, wow, that's awesome. Turkey breast is only $8.99. Do you know I could have gone to Safeway and got an entire roasted turkey prepared by them, picked it up on Thanksgiving Day you know, itself, that's what I did last year, for $25. This is insane. Oh, I'm so mad. You know, I'm like, we, I, it's not like I'm rich from YouTube. I'm not making money making these videos. And so to charge $56 for six pounds of turkey breast, Jobin, is ridiculous. What are you wearing, Mademoiselle Lucia? I'm wearing my shoes. Yeah, are you wearing mommy's old toe shoes? Are you going to be a ballet dancer? I'm okay. I'm okay. Let me see this. Uh, you're silly girl. These are one of the last pair of toe shoes I ever danced in. You can see that the toes are still pretty much intact because when your toe shoes are about to die, there is no more satin on the toes. And they're still somewhat hard, and I miss I miss dancing a lot. So if you're a dancer, don't ever stop dancing. Even when you're like in high school and you're like, I want to hang out with my friends, don't stop dancing because you'll be an old lady like me at 33 and be like, I miss dancing. I miss dancing on my toes. And the ABC Family Peanuts Marathon. I'm so there. And so are they. Look at my babies. They love their Snoopy and Charlie Brown. Gotta stay still, okay, Lucy? Nope. You gotta stay still. Mommy. Don't move your head, okay? Lucy. <gasps> oh, snip, snip, your first haircut. Oh, you're a big girl. Lucy. Lucy. Look at mommy. Hey, everybody on YouTube wants to see your haircut. Oh, you look so pretty. Say, I look beautiful. Say, I look like a laundry basket. <laughs> I got you. So, look at these babies. Those are cupcakes. Are they from a box? No, they're from scratch. I already tasted them. They taste really good. They taste better than box. I think I may never use a box for cake mix ever again. What do you think, Mr. Garcia? Yes, they're delicious. Close.
close up. Wow, that actually gets pretty close to you. So. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Talk. So what's up? Sorry guys, I'm really tired. Ugh. And you have to get up in like three hours. I have to get up in seven or six hours and 45 minutes. I got to get up in like, how many hours? Six hours? Is that what you said? I'm getting up at 4.45. I'm going to try to get up at 7. So I'm not going to do the frosting tonight. Hey, don't give me that look. You don't have to go in that early tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> he does have to go in that early. So anyway. But I'm going to be like on my feet. Like cooking up a storm. Sweating up a storm. Baking up a storm. Can't even give me that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm... So. No. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. No. Wonderful. Yeah. You're the best. I love you. No, you don't. That's not true. I do. I think you're the best ever. No, it's not true. Yes. I want to have, like, all your babies. No, that's not true. I do. That's not true. So, I am beat. I'm going to clean up the kitchen so it's ready to go tomorrow. And then I'm going to hit the tick. David's going to try to go to sleep. And then it's Thanksgiving. It's go time. And it'll be the holidays. The start of the holidays. <laughs> yeah, at least he was helping out. Our volumes are going to start picking up, so. I can't go with You won't see David. <laughs> you could have just asked him. You didn't have to whisper it. Now what you got to say? <laughs> That's the quietest he's ever been. <laughs> so, we're going to call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog. You can vlog for me tomorrow. Excuse me. <laughs> so, good night. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow.